Bacon! Hey guys, welcome back to another Redbeard Outdoors episode. Today, I'm going to a private pond to do some fishing. This pond looks familiar to you guys because I fished it last year. It's a uh, private pond that uh, we have access to fish at summer camp. It's pretty, pretty awesome loaded pond. The only downside is there's a lot of uh, small fish in there and um, you kind of have to weed through the small fish to get to the big fish. So I'm not going to show all the small fish. I did that last year for you guys. Um, I'm going to uh, do a build up to a big fish that I caught out of there. So um, quick little side story about it is I was using a lure that was a uh, topwater duck. Um, it's called Danny the Duck, actually. It's the name of the lure. And um, I had lost it because the line snapped, and you, you guys will see that, and it'll fly out in the lake. And then um, another group went out there and fished and ended up snagging it and reeling it back in. They brought it to dinner the following night and gave it back to me, so that was pretty awesome. And I started to use it again, but when I used it, um, it was too windy and I switched to a eliminator tadpole and it dove just enough, probably about six inches to the water to stay out of the weed. I have a couple uh, fish catches leading up to the big fish catch at the end. So at one point I was using a topwater frog and I had to put it on uh, a different, a light line pole. So um, unfortunately, because the duck snapped off. So I'm using this topwater frog and I swear I catch this fish and it breaks my line. And so I go back the following day with the tadpole eliminator that I was telling you guys about and hook into this fish again. I'm pretty sure it's the same fish. Um, it had the same tendencies that dove down in the weeds to try to get me to uh, break off. So you guys are gonna see all that and enjoy. <laughs> Point! Yep, I got my third one. All right, good job. You got the killer bait on there. Oh, I got a nice one. Out there by that grass island. Uh huh. It's like if you can get it out there and keep it out of the weeds and have it move a second, bam, you'll have some. It's about two and a half. A decent one. What are you fishing with? Swim bait, weedless. I think you should try your duck, man. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Yeah, you have to fish everything that way out here. You can't let it dive too much. Right. I think there's only like 
two feet of water through here. And then the rest is moss. Yo, Mark. I think a baby went for it. Did it really? Yeah. Right away, huh? yeah. First it, it missed it. <laughs> it's a big shark. Yeah, it's true. That's going to be, you're going to need a big fish for that. Yeah. Well, that's the goal, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, it's too big. <laughs> There we go! <laughs> ben, put on your frog, man! Look how small it is. Oh, you got him, though. <laughs> it's like shark attack on his duck. That's awesome, man. <laughs> I had a feeling they'd be hitting it, but I didn't know they'd just be annihilating it. Yeah, it's insane out here. What is it? Look at it. I can't see it. Oh, it's 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 I just lost the duck. I lost it. Really? The bass broke it off? No, it snapped. Uh, on a fish? No, in the air. And then Is it out there? it's out there and something ate it. Big and on the frog. Big on the frog. Oh! He snapped my line. That was a big one. I caught one with two feet of line. Did you? Yeah. Area? Yeah. yeah. Not a bad one.
Big in! Big in! Big in! I got a big one! <laughs> Biggin! <sighs> oh my god, he was hooked so good. Four pounder! Yeah! guys thanks for watching not much talking today uh, sorry for the wind noise 
enjoyed this video please hit that like button please make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next redbeard outdoors episode remember get outdoors and keep fishing catch you on the next one